hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is Shantavia I go by Lady Empress but anyways um, I'm sitting here waiting for another favor I do favor so I deliver things I do um, go to a grocery store shop for them if they need me to pick up a prescription I can pick up a prescription whatever they need me to do I basically do it but I'm not not cleaning shit and stuff like that and I'm not bound down to nobody but yes I do those I do deliveries basically but anyways this is about me being a side B. I don't like calling myself a, a bitch because that's not what God say I am. I am Shantavi. I'm his daughter. I am his queen. And I am a mother. But I'm putting it in a perspective so y'all understand I was somebody's side piece. Anyways, I was dating this guy. I had just got a serious relationship. I was in love with this man. He was older than me. And come on, he's older than me. So, of course, he did things to my body that another person never did before. So, I fell in love with him automatically through sexual contact and him learning me different things. But anyways, I met this guy named Marlo. He stayed in my old apartments. And I know that he had a, a girl because every time he rode around, him and his girl was in the car together. And I'll always be like, damn, he look good. He had one go dark and tall. He he was my um, type. You know, that's my type. I always tell people I like my men tall and dark and bow legged. And most of them don't be bow legged, but they be tall and they be dark. And he had a nice, he, he, he cut her. He had nice waves going through his head. So he was clean cut. That was another plus sign. And he could dress. I'm up for looking at traffic. And he can dress real, real good. And then he sold drugs. So I was you know i thought i had the whole package so anyways he'll come pick me up his in okay we're in the same apartment complex so that means his girl his main girl stayed around the corner from my apartment give me some lip chat million he sat around the corner from my apartment so of course i'm a see her coming out the gate that's the only way they can go out is do it coming around my my way going out the gate so i'm thinking i'm doing so i'm gonna take this woman's man he gonna be mine he gonna be here with my kids He's um paying, he's giving me money. He's um cutting my boy's hair for free. He's taking me to his cousin house to chill. He's staying at my house all through the night, asking me to go do runs with him. Open this. Asking me to go do runs with him. I'm just so happy. Like I ooh, I'm his I'm about to be his main chick. I do all the runs with him. He take me to all the spots. He spending money on me. He um cutting my boy's hair. He's just doing everything that I felt like he should do. Me being in my early 20s, I thought that was the shit. So, anyways, I had got back with my ex, the older guy that I was talking about. I had got back with him. Things start going sour between me and him. We start, we just start feeling each other. Why we stop feeling each other? Why? Because he gave me an STD, trichomonas. And I'm always, I, I was on Medicaid, so I'm always going to the doctor. If you got Medicaid, go get seen much as you can. Everything that, you, your checkups, everything. When you got Medicaid, don't abuse it, use it. So I had Medicaid, and I was feeling, I went to go use the bathroom. My um, urine was burning, and I was itching, and I was just irritated. So I called him, I said, if you gave me anything, I'm going to find out because I'm going to go to the um, clinic. I went to the clinic. Um, they did a pee test on me. And they came back and said, I have trichomonas and I need to, I need to let the, the guy that gave it to me know also. So they gave me a seven day supply. Now was it two day? Two day pills? I think I had a week and he had two day pills. And I told him, I said, you gave me something, you gave me trichomonas and I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't know such and such, such and such, you know, the stupid story. Acting like he didn't know. He probably didn't know because he don't. Men usually don't go to the doctor as much as women do to get their self checked. So they really don't know when they got something unless they down there burning or something. So, anyways, um, I started acting funny towards him. He started acting funny towards me. He was hanging around my, um, a neighbor that we all we hung around together, Miss Tammy. They smoked weed together, and I feel like she was getting drugs from him too. She was smoking crack. So, anyways, he down there clowning, acting a fool, talking about, oh, she sprung over me, such and such, and all this stuff. So one day, my homegirl Q, which was a stud, called me while he was over there, just flow showing and talking about that I'll be stalking him and. All all that type of stuff. I said, if you don't get your ass to this motherfucking house and take your um your pill, that trick of money that you gave me, <laughs> get your motherfucking ass over here. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> it was a lot of people in her house and I was on the intercom. So it's about nine people in that house when I said that. Do you know he hurry up and got his ass over there and say, why did you tell them what I have? I said, well, you gave me something. So why would I not tell people what you have while you're over there clowning, saying I'm stalking you when you over here, constantly coming over here, cutting my boy's hair and giving me money. Don't play me for a fool, baby. Man, I might like you. I might be attracted to you. I might feel like I'm falling in love with you, but you ain't finna play me like that. So he come around there and I just got I just got tired of him and then I got back with my um ex and I moved out of town like two hours away from um Dallas and I got back with him and then I ended up coming back to my apartment because I still had an apartment that, um down in Dallas that my best friend was staying at. So I came back home because I was getting tired of him also. And his girl had found out from Tammy or really from my best friend. I don't want to talk about it because she died. So I'm gonna call her, I'm gonna consider her as my best friend because she's not no longer on earth. But I feel like she went back because she didn't have no friends down there, so she wanted to hang around them with me not being down there. So I think she told this girl. So when I got back, she had an attitude looking at me. I was like, hmm. Somebody must have told her, told me about, told her about me and her dude. Come to find out somebody did because her homegirl gonna call me out in the work center. We had a work center where the computers was at at our apartment. So I guess 